Welcome back into the Fantasy Draft Preview Series here on CBSSportsLine.com. He's Jamie Eisenberg. I'm Dave Richard. We're talking tight ends, a uh, position that has been moving up the charts a little bit each year, increasing more and more teams using tight ends to move the ball and to get the offenses going. And Jamie, certainly when you look at the best tight ends in the league, two are at the top for fantasy purposes. Absolutely. You're talking about Antonio Gates and Tony Gonzalez. They are going to be the first two tight ends taken. Gates probably in the third round, maybe even the second. Gonzalez probably starting in the fourth round. Both guys are going to give you lots of production because they are very good tight ends. You know what? What we've been seeing is Gates goes right off the bat and then Gonzalez five picks later. So when Gates goes, Gonzalez goes. Very important point to remember when you're watching and tracking your fantasy draft. Certainly. And then you're talking about the next group of guys after them are going to be starting with Jeremy Shockey. This is what we have on our rankings on CBS Sportsline. Jeremy Shockey, Todd Heap, Chris Cooley, Vernon Davis, Algie Crumpler, Ben Watson, and Kellen Winslow. Dave, I know we have Chris Cooley as the fifth rated tight end, but I think you can get some value out of Vernon Davis and Ben Watson. Vernon Davis is going to be in an up-and-coming offense with Alex Smith. Now that Daryl Jackson's there, certainly Frank Gore. And then you're talking about Ben Watson with the options around him. He's going to have the middle of the field to, wide, to run wide open. Mm -hmm. Should be a good target for Tom Brady. See, but what you like about those guys are what I like. What I mean to say is what's, what you think is great about those guys are bad because Cooley is in an offense where he's the best wide receiver. The interesting thing about Chris Cooley is that he's got Jason Campbell, kind of an inexperienced quarterback, only played half a season as his starting passer. And you know what? Campbell really leaned on Cooley last year. And Cooley has always been an effective receiver for whoever's throwing the ball in Washington. So if I'm in a draft and I see that there's, there's a spot where I can get a good tight end who's going to put up good numbers, be a good red zone target, Cooley's my guy. I'm going to take him. And that's why I think he's fifth best on the board. I think Santana Moss might disagree with you about the Cooley Santana thing. might disagree might, about he, that. He that might, might be true. But still, Cooley gets a lot of reception. And the best thing about Chris Cooley, as we know, is he plays fantasy football. Ah. Now, Dave, if you're Chris Cooley, do you take Kellen Winslow in your fantasy draft, given that he's coming <laughs> off microfracture surgery, which I, is a pretty big procedure? No, I, I definitely wouldn't do that. But he, he's kind of on that risk-reward level where it's high risk to take him, high reward to get him. The microfracture surgery kind of signals that he's got like maybe max five years left in the league. I know it's a big NBA injury. Absolutely. And the one thing about Kellen Winslow you want to keep an eye on during training camp, during preseason, how he performs, how he comes back. The reports we're getting out of Cleveland yep. are very good, so it looks like he's going to be back to full strength next year. Although, he could fall into that bust category if you take very him, much so. and then he falls off. Speaking of bust, let's take a look at some guys we think are going to be bust from tight ends. Jason Witten, Dallas Clark, Desmond Clark, and Daniel Graham. Dave, what do you think about Jason Witten and Dallas Clark? Well, those, those are the two uh, big names on the board. A lot of people are going to recognize them and go, hmm, I know that name. I'm going to take them to be my fantasy tight end. Not so fast, just because they both play in pass-heavy offenses where they're not going to get the ball as much as you'd like them to get the ball. Jason Witten plays with T.O. and Terry Glenn. Not so good for his reception totals. Same thing in Indianapolis. You know the Colts receivers are pretty big. With Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, Anthony Gonzalez coming on strong. You know that Dallas Clark isn't going to get a lot of receptions. He may be a good red zone target, but that's about it. And, and that's why you want to kind of veer away from them, go with the, go with the other names that we already listed plus some sleeper names. We do have Daniel Graham on the list. The one thing to keep an eye on with him is if Tony Scheffler's injury is bad, Daniel Graham could have some value and could fall into the sleeper category, which leads us to our sleepers for this coming season with tight ends. Let's take a look at those guys, talking about Randy McMichael, David Martin, Owen Daniels, and Marcus Pollard. Dave, what about these guys do you like? What do you think makes them sleepers? Well, three of them switch teams during the offseason, and three of them play in pass-heavy offenses. I think all four of these guys have a good shot at being good fantasy contributors this year. Uh, of the three that play in a pass-heavy offense, the one that's really interesting to me is Owen Daniels because he's going to be a good short area receiving target for Matt Schaub. So, but the bottom line is that all four of these guys, really good. If you could pick one to be your tight end, which one would it be? I like David Martin. Certainly it's a, it's a, it's a situation where they went out to get him. He replaces Randy McMichael. Cam Cameron, coming from San Diego, has a history with the tight end, as we've seen with Antonio Gates. And it's going to be that there really isn't a, a, a true number two receiver there. Marty Booker, obviously, is going to have a chance to, to put up some of the numbers that he did last year, but he's getting up in age. Chris Chambers is really the only receiver, and he's not that good, to be honest. <laughs> uh, you know, he, he's wow. one of those guys that falls into the bust category. Uh -huh. So, David Martin, a lot of potential. Maybe this is the type of, of team that brings it out, and also Trent Green has a good history with the tight end with Tony Gonzalez. Yeah, and he's an excellent late-round pick if you're looking to find somebody to help get value for your fantasy team. Well, we've given you the scoop on tight ends for this year, just one of several positions we're covering here at CBS Sportsline. Hope it helps you win your fantasy league in 2007. For Jamie Eisenberg, I'm Dave Richard. Thanks for coming out.